McDonald's mukbang, let's do this. Right, so today I have something very interesting. I have some pieces of apple pie. As you could probably see, never had these. These are pretty new, so I got eight of them. And um, I've also got a veggie a chicken crispy or crispy chicken, whatever it is. I'm excited, man. I don't know what this is going to taste like. I got some fries, you know, I got my drink as well. So without it further ado, let's start this off. It's the apple pie. Not bad. So I hope you guys are doing well today. It's uh, Friday. It's weekend finally. God damn, it's weekend, man. I'm happy. So I just got back um, from the yard burst, motor burst. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, it looks like chicken. That's the crazy thing. It looks. I'm really thinking if this is. This can't be vegetarian, can it? Like it tastes just like chicken. As weird as it sounds. Nah, I need to. I need to take another bite. This is weird. It's got almost the same texture texture as chicken, man. Oh, you're blue. I hope we can show some more. But anyways, I think you guys all know the story, man. About the rapper Pop Smoke. Um, fucking tragic, man. Got, got killed in his own house. Um, they've been following his music or career. He was a New York rapper. And I really, I fuck heavily with New York artists. Jake Rich, Lil TJ. Hey. Fever for him. Um, Pop Smoke. He was only just starting off his career. His hit, Welcome to the Party, which basically took his career off. Just dropped this album as well. I Meet the Wu, I think it was called. And yeah, he got murdered, man, two days ago. Shit's crazy, yeah. It was just a hit of rum. Didn't even get his jewelry, didn't even get nothing. And it's all because he accidentally leaked his own address and his friend, which we all thought was, which is in fact his brother actually, I think, I believe, posted a photo with him. Y'all uh, know who run the city. Mike D's Instagram. And um, he posted the Addy, which is the address, on accident. You know, still crazy shit, man. 4.30 he got murdered, man. 20 years old, and, you, and of course it's very sad, man, but let's not realize, man, these rappers, most of them, they've got a history, man, with gangs, and he was a member, in fact, of the Cribs. Um, they don't only have Bloods and Cribs in New York, nah, you've got Latin gangs, you've got Chinese gangs, fuck, you've even got, you've got a lot of gangs that a lot of people don't know about, but they're, they're, they're active there. You've got Bloods, you've got Cribs, you've got etc., you know? Mmm. This is really good actually. This is actually really nice. So yeah, being a gang member as well, it also has effect on your life. Like let's not deny that. If you're a gang member and you're trying to make it out, you you live in Hollywood. Shit, you're doing something good as well. But what I'm trying to say is people will eventually target you because you have you have stuff that they don't have. He you know, he he loves to show off. Hey look, I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with showing stuff off. But be careful, man. Be careful what you show off and how you show off and who you show off, you know? And yeah, and eventually turn out to be wrong, man. And it's really sad. But like I said, do not forget, man. He, without a doubt, had a, had a bad history. There's no question in me about that, you know? Wow. That is a good... That's very time. I'm actually surprised how good this is. Being very honest, I normally don't say McDonald's is good, but holy shit. This is actually very good. I'm really, I'm actually really happy about this menu. This is the best menu I've probably had in, in a long time. From McAdee's. And what I want to say is, be careful what you post on Instagram. And what when you post something on your stories, before you post it, check what you've written in it. What's on the thing, you know? I 
apple pie is delicious. So it's crazy, man. But like I said, we norm we normal people in society don't live away like that. You know, we normal people go to work at, from nine to five. We get back home. We chill. A lot of these rappers, and I'm talking mainly specifically about rappers. Fuck, man, they still do trapping and and the stuff. If you don't know what trapping is, trapping trapping is basically drugs. It's either making drugs or selling drugs. That's that's why a lot of these rappers use phrases like trapping all day, go to put money first. Trapping like a quarterback, you know, this they say stuff like that. And um Yeah, that's really what a rapper's life is, man. It's it's running basically if you're a, a person with a known history, you know, it's gonna haunt you eventually. Whether you like it or not. There's no escaping the hood basically. The thing is you can leave the hood, but the hood never escapes you. Like, there's always a part of your, you in the hood. And you're probably wondering, you're not from the hood. I'm not from the hood, but I listen to a lot of rap, and I do a lot of research and stuff. And So I know what I'm talking about, mostly on these type of subjects. When it comes to rap and other stuff, I know quite a lot about that. Even for a suburban person, I know a lot, man. I just don't trap, and I don't do this stuff, because I don't need to. And I don't want to, because a lot of people think it's cool selling drugs. My guy, it's not what you think it is. It's not just, oh, you sell a bag of weed and then it gets fine. It's very dangerous. You don't get out of the world unless you have money to pay off. Otherwise, you're dead, you know. That's how it works and how I know this. A lot of programs, a lot of deep research. It's really interesting. But yeah, anyways, I want to say this chicken is really good. So yeah, rest in peace of smoke, man. Shit's tragic, but that's life, man. Life is how it is. The fries are pretty good though. Yeah. Anyways, it's finally uh, we can. It's crocus certification. So that means we're all free, I think. Which is great because I needed a break. Holy shit, man. I needed a break from school. What I love about these type of breaks is the, 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 the amount of time that I have to make videos is crazy. But I also have to learn, but I got so many videos coming up. You guys don't want to wait for that, trust me. I mean, look at that. That's really nice. Oh. Just look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying these more than the, the, like the menu. I don't know why, they're very good. Yeah, let me know down in the comments your pin, you know. Oh, I got sauce in my hair. That's, for the, that's weird. Anyways, but yeah, it's it's like a satisfaction. Um, I'm very glad of vacation as well. Because I needed a break. I think we all need a break once in a while, you know. And a break is very good. It's good for us. So what I like to do normally, typically in vacation times, is go on the bike. I just do my own thing, you know. Not like the motorbike, but like just cycling. That's really cool in general, you know. But I got driver's lessons Tuesday. Because there's no school, I'm going to meet, you know, at the driving school. So I got to take the bus, and then I got to walk 10 minutes, and then I got to do... It's so annoying, man. That's how it is, you know. This is crazy. I don't. Get, I don't think this is vegetarian. Though. I'm not dissing it, but it says make chicken. But on the thing here, it said special order. As you could probably read, it's veggie make chicken. You know what I mean? I have my doubts. I'm like I'm saying, this is very good. But is it vegetarian? I don't know. It it tastes really good. I've never had this vegetarian food taste so good. Especially from a fast food. That's really crazy. <laughs> That's really good, man. Yeah, so I posted the ASMR with condoms video um, two days ago. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. You should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it, man. You, you should check it out on the ASMR channel. I love the ASMR. It's, it's really cool, man.
pretty cool video, you know. Once in a while, like I say, I like to switch up things, you know. Wow. Yeah, this is good. Mm. I definitely recommend you trying out the vegetarian make chicken because this is crazy good, man. I don't like the piece of bread. Mmm. I don't really know what to talk about. I really don't know. I don't really have a lot to talk about. So basically, I, I told my school I was sick today. Boy, I was not sick. Get out of here. <laughs> I just thought it would be cool to do it. Because I had my work off. I got everything done already, you know? So I'm thinking pretty good. I think I'm, I think I'm Gucci, you know? I think we're good. <whistles> Look at that. It's really nice. I like the way it focuses now. I, that's what. That's the reason why I put the microphone in front of the camera, so that it focuses more on the item. Because if I do this, it goes out fully. That, that's what I like. Mm. And I'm not high, by the way. I'm very tired, dude. Let's finish this up and then we wrap the video. I saw quite a lot of pe few people in the comments saying in the previous taco mukbang video with my dad that I'm being rude. That's not me being rude. That's how me and my dad always communicate. In a joke wise, you know, some of some people may not understand that you know, it was a joke. I can get it. I, I get it. Some people don't have like a very good relationship with their parents or parent, you know. And they might think it, that it comes over rude. It's not rude. It's just me and yeah, my That's just me and my dad, okay? But my dad talks a lot. Let's not deny that. That's a fact. He talks crazy long. But so do I. But the thing with me is, when I talk, I also eat at the same time. So that's also the difference. He just loves talking a lot about food. Because he loves making food. And I appreciate him for that. But he never gets it with a mukbang. You eat, man. You eat and you talk, but that he's got his own style. I think it's he's got a different style like me, you know. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, with you guys. This was a very enjoyable meal for fast food. Nine dollars. Not, not not a bad price, because considering vegetarian food in general is pretty expensive, you know, because it's a difficult process, you know, expensive process. But shit, this was, this was really enjoyable. And I know I, I, I know I diss the heck out of McDonald's quite often. But this is probably the first time I'm really praising them and saying to you guys, you should definitely try out the veggie mac chicken. It's really good. Like, it is, it's good. Also, depending on how the person makes it, you know. This person made it perfect to vegetarian one, so I'm very, very glad about that. What I am disappointed in is, however, though, that McDonald's is the only fast food chain in the Netherlands that I know of that only sells veg that, that that sells also veg vegan uh, products. KFC doesn't have vegetarian. Burger King doesn't. Uh, Five Guys. Kind of weird, though, you know, because McDonald's is the only one with it there's no other company that i know of that sells vegan style like vegan burgers in there you know so they did say they did say however kfc last week when i went there that they were going to release a vegan menu this week and i they didn't st they still haven't whack man they have in rotterdam but i ain't going to go to rotterdam nah a bit too far man for kfc for rotterdam Right, anyways, I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, 
Um, let me know what mukbang video you would possibly want to see next. Um, definitely let me know down in the comments your paint on Pop Smoke strategic. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to call it an incident. Because there was a planned thing, it was a hit and run. They didn't take any jewelry money. They just hit, killed them and then they left the scene. Yeah, definitely let me know your opinion on this whole Pop Smoke situation. I think it's a very fucked up thing, man, honestly. It's just pure envy, man, nothing else. I, there's nothing else I can say or add to it. It's just pure envy. You know what I mean? It's sad, man, honestly. It's just so pathetic, man, honestly. The people killing another person over something. Material, you know, materialistic shit, you know. I'm gonna end the video, and um, tomorrow on the ASMR channel, a brand new ASMR video. See y'all next mukbang. Peace, man.